week twin actual week twenty this time. Are we sure? Yeah, because I got I get I looked this morning because <laughs> we got it wrong last time. That's like two or three weeks in a row, I think. Hey man, I mean it's fine. Like we just make it up as we go along anyway. So I do, I do my best. It's fine. That's, I don't think anyone noticed. Well, they do now, nigga, because we said something about it. Right. You're right. That's fair. All 12 of y'all. Right? <laughs> not spilling the secret to the mainstream the, media. The meta. Fuck it. They might, uh, they will tear us down quickly. We're back. Yeah. We're back to bitch for another 30 minutes to yeah. an hour. Fucking. Okay. Except this time it's about fun shit. Only question I have is... Dude, I'm great. I'm fine, man. What does that mean? What is it? Power dog. Who's, who is, who is this character that you're referencing? Why would you? I don't know. Who that? Who's, I've never seen this guy. He's, a, he's a weeb character because he's from a franchise that I've never played. Honestly, I'm I was so born. Sick of all these anime characters in my snack. I was born in the year 2000, and I don't know who Terrence is. Yeah, that hurt, didn't it? We're FGC geezers. I, I know that shit hurt. <laughs> we are FGC boomers. Like, the fact that we can... the finest, the pinnacle. You... We are, like, the last generation, too. ...qualify for a senior discount because you were actually born before what we know as fighting games were actually fighting games. Yeah, I was born in 1990. I was born in 91. I was born in the year that Street Fighter 2 came oh, out. Oh, you lucky little bitch. Or no, I was born a year before. SF2 came out in 92. Or was no no I was born the year of because Vanilla SF2 was out in '91. Well, either way, it doesn't matter if you can remember going with your friends to an arcade machine. Yeah, you're old. You're old. You're old as fuck. You're old as shit. Right. Especially if, somebody, if they say that they don't remember that shit, you better <laughs> check the car. Homie. Especially if you were coherent in the arcade days, i.e., a teenager. Dude, you're old as fuck, bro. Like you. You deserve a plaque. Like, when all this shit crashes and burns and the FGC inevitably gets washed up in the eSports cyclone, we're going to have, like, a mural like the fucking 9-11 and Vietnam victims have their like wall. <laughs> right, it's just a fountain with a, with a bunch of names on it. Like, not even real names, just their FGC day, just their, their tags. tags. Just their fucking <laughs> tags. Like, who are these niggas? I remember. Oh, yeah. You know, combos on the PS2 like, just... I mean, it, I guess, you know, for those that are outside of the world, um, Terry came out for Smash Bros, and he's fucking amazing. I don't know if you got Jesse in the Twitter combos yet, but... Bro, the, the Yipes video, mm. it's Marvel, baby. Yeah. That shit is like, that's just like 14 years old. Man, no, please stop. Dude, stop, stop. Okay? It's people that don't even know Yipes was, a, was an actual competitor at one point. They, they only they only know commentator Yipes. I know, it's crazy. I was Bruh, like, like <laughs> I was like, because I actually follow him on YouTube and he does a yeah, too. That man's funny as shit. Yeah, and like I was it just kinda dawned on me. I was like They only know This man is more known for the fact that he commentates Marvel. And Dragon Ball Fighter. Rather than being one. Right now, he's yeah. out of the Marvel game. Yeah. He's just like, fuck it, I'm trying Marvel. to get paid now. I'm going to call this boring ass game. Like, he was literally one of the gods in the Marvel 2 era. But people don't even know there was a Marvel 2. They, they just don't. thought they just skipped up to 3 and then Infinite. 3 and Infinite. And so why do they call this one 3, dude? Uh, it's the first one that I've played. Why is it 3? Oh, this must be the third vanilla version. Yeah, probably. Is this, uh, this is the one with all the patches and DLC. Uh, Marvel Superheroes. X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Actually, I'll take that back. X-Men vs. Street Fighter was my first one. And then I went back and played uh, Children of the Atom. Uh, like, cause I, I was late as fuck. Because, like, I had a PlayStation 1. Hmm. And Ooh, that was sorry. yeah, that was what I had X Men versus Street Fighter on before yes. I eventually got a Dreamcast and then copped everything. Right, right. But I went back to the arcade and luckily I got the chance to play Children of the Atom before they took it out. Yeah. So I, I've at least played all the other games before the one that I started with. Yeah, I was um, we didn't have a Saturn or a PlayStation when I was growing up. So. We had to make it on our own, but we had a computer. Yeah. Those early mate, uh, fucking emulator early days. Early emulator, 
serious, boy. Boy, I tell you, like, I got X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Somebody actually had an X-Men vs. Street Fighter emulator online up and ready. Mm. That you could just load up. And I, I remember the first time I saw that shit where Cyclops or you come together as a big X-Men the anime yeah. series fan. Yeah. You're just like, nut, oh. Nut. There's nothing better than this in the history of mankind. The fat nut. And, you know, you gotta fucking make that shit happen. So you get into the... I was real big in the emulator scene and moving. The early days of moving. Mm-hmm. We were fucking... Boy, I remember we actually, in high school, we would come together and just share moving tips. Yeah. Mugen, MAME, uh, NFBA, all, GGPO before it was just netcode. Like, like, it, it's crazy to think that, like, we were essentially beta testers for GGPO. Because yeah. it's like, hey, you guys want to play all these games online? These games that never had online before? Yes. G- get our get our service. And now they are literally yes. sold their code to be used by major developers. So wherever you are, GGPO crew, in Jamaica on your vacation. Double salute. Fucking, Double. You guys... You guys are y'all heroes. Be, y'all gotta be through some times. You guys are heroes. We're older than Terry's entire franchise. And Terry's entire franchise is almost 30. That's crazy. Same with Sonic, nigga. Sonic is like the same age as me. Yeah. Do people real do people understand that cartridges were bigger back in the day? I don't think people understand that there were cartridges back in the You gotta remember, man, there's a lot of people out there that were born by the time the disc era came out. I don't think this is a podcast. I think this is our realization of our impending death. I mean, I think we've accepted that shit long ago. It's it's more or less a reminiscence. <laughs> this is a, this, I thought this was supposed to be a positive podcast. It is a positive podcast. A lot of people that I knew growing up yeah. ain't alive or ain't free. To enjoy the things that we enjoy. Yeah, thank God. Thank like, God. Nigga, 28, sadly, is is a blessing to have seen. Shit, I'm 29, so. <laughs> Old ass nigga. Yeah, man. I woke, finna, up this mor- I woke up this morning and my ankle was hurting. I'm finna fucking die, man. I don't even know what the fuck I did. Old ass. I just laid down last night. Dirt. And I woke up this morning to take a leak and I couldn't put no weight on. Bedrock age, yeah, carbon date you, nigga. Oh, fucking like, just, you just be like waking up here and shit. Just like, just don't take a shit. Stuff be coming out. Like, I don't remember eating that. Your knees and your lower back. Fuck yeah, this is, this is bullshit. I had an existential crisis the other day, dog. Oh, like, what? you realize that when you, you eat corn and you chew it, but it comes out unchewed? <laughs> I didn't really make that connection in my head until just now. Just so there you go, stream's over. Bye guys. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, for back to back to uh, back to yeah, Terry. Terry, okay, yeah. So like, fucking he he has motions in the game. He has the motion. For those like, I'm gonna take a note from Sakurai. For those of you that don't know what motions are, Pay that's close attention to the camera. That's when you have to input multiple directions in succession in order to get your special moves. And shout out to Sakurai, by the way, for, for knowing that was backwards. For, so, knowing yeah, the position. Yeah, right. For, giving, for basically giving a 30-minute tutorial on shit that I've been doing since I was literally six years old. Like, I mean, I had to learn these fucking directions because I was an SNK guy. Of before, course. You know? Like, I'm not... I was I would, a KOF 98 boy. I would never shame anybody for, like, trying to learn motions but the fact that a lot of that people don't that don't know what motions are and a call these motions difficult geese howard was a character oh that the pretzel yeah raising a storm down back for some reason fucking back up back down forward <laughs> forward up forward down back for a super don't jump because if you jump you fuck it up they 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 put that motion in CBS 2, didn't they? In CBS 1. I'm I think I'm pretty sure it was CBS 1. Yeah, yeah, it was CBS 1. CBS 2, I think they stepped kind they, of... They kind of, yeah, they, they gave him, um... Well, it, it wasn't... No, it might have been the same as CBS 2, now that I think about Because I know Rock Howard had the double quarter circle for it one. Right, because his, um... He had another, like, yeah. more, more difficult direction with his, uh... What was the movie that he had? Fucking... Shining Knuckle, raving, uh, Neo Deadly Rave, Neo yeah. Deadly Rave, 
And like that's that's not even fucking hard. It's just half circle back forward. Like but it didn't put it for the whole completely. The timing. Yeah, that's where I, fucking, yeah, that's where I the guess. Difficulty comes in. I was about to say like I had no problem. It was com- comboing into it. Yeah, it's hard because you have to kind of manage your hit stun. But like the move itself, I never really struggled mm-hmm. with it that much. I guess because I played Garo. But oh, well, I, yeah, I, I did. I did touch Garo, <laughs> Mark of the Wolves to like. I was deep in my KOF like dive and like my SNK dive because I had to go backwards. Because we actually had a piece of Carlo named Mazio that had a Neo Geo cabinet. Fuck. They had Robot. It's really this fucking is, Fatal Fury 2. It's just really making me feel old as fuck. Oh my god. The I mean, Mazios, man. It was right across from a Windex. That's just been gone for like from here anyway for like 18 fucking years. I wonder are they still are they still now? I ha- have yet to see one. Like Mind you, I've been to like certain cities in multiple states, and I have yet to see a Mazio. Like Fazoli's fucking came back before I saw a Mazio. Fucking Fazoli's is trash, by the way. Don't make that oh, shit. disgusting. We'll have an anti-Fazoli stream later. I'm sorry for spiking you. Right? Yeah, you're good, dog. But fucking like that, and uh, you remember Hungry Howie's? Yeah, I remember Hungry Howie's. Like the only one close to here in Auburn. So that's well, I believe it. Yeah, I believe it. College campuses. I, I fucking, totally believe like, that. I was like, you know what? Today I'm going to get some Hungry Howie's. No, you I didn't. loaded up the directions in my fucking phone. Nope. And I was like, I didn't realize it was out of the city. Nope. <laughs> After about 20 minutes, I'm like, how fucking far is this place? I thought it would be around the corner. About 45 minutes. No, I, I drove past a Blimpies before oh, I started. Yeah, started. Yeah, that's a desert. I was like, it's like 45 minutes, and then you lose the hour when you get there. Mm. I don't, I, nah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah. Like, fuck it, but no, like, I mean, this, I mean, it just kind of tells you about the fucking, the day we're in, I think. Yeah. Where the idea of accessibility is to kind of shrink down the skill level mm. of certain things that should be basic. Like, the motions, like, people say quarter circle forward is hard. It's no, not. It's not hard. It's not hard. It's like, just make, it, it either, like. That's the basis of all motions. It, it's like, and, you know. It's, it, you just, it's just a simple role. Like, just think of the fucking motion. That's why I use QCF instead of like 236. Yeah. Instead of the numbers. Because it's I think that's, easier to understand. That motion. That's yeah. what we had in the booklets. Y'all don't know about booklets, do you? Yeah. We had man, booklets in our fucking crystal CD. You don't know about CDs, do you? Games don't fucking come, come with fucking instruction manuals anymore. That's because they all come with tutorials, but still. Oh, Jesus Christ. Like. And I'm, I'm, I'm honestly glad you, you brought that point up because the entire, the, the argument for the longest has been that the Smash community wants Smash to A, be taken as a serious fighting game, B, be recognized as a serious fighting game. Little, little history for everybody that doesn't know, this is from Sakurai himself. The reason that Smash Brothers as a franchise exists is because he bodied a couple so fucking hard in KOF 95 yeah. that he thought to himself 24 years ago, man, people shouldn't have to struggle this hard with a game that they just want to have fun with. I'm going to take it up. Remember that. Remember that line. Yeah. I'm going to take it upon myself to make a game that is more accessible and easier to execute than the games that I play. Hence, Smash Brothers was born. No, God. no inputs. Other than like single. Uh, yeah, like no single. Direction. Yeah, like directional like inputs. Direction. Command normals. Yes, there in you go. in there fucking you go. in regular fighting games. Right. But Smash Bros. for one has always been more of an homage to quote unquote traditional fighting games KOF was the first crossover game because it took characters from yes. from three to four SNK yeah, franchises yeah. the whole invitation and smash thing started in KOF um essentially a lot of a lot of how the aerial mobility works you have multiple jumps right <laughs> you have different types of jumps in KOF you have short hop full hop hyper hop yeah. all all of that all of the shit that you claim is 
unique to your game or started in your game yeah. came from fucking Caleb. Yeah. I mean, because he, said, he wanted to. Sakurai was actually good the way he did, but he was like, I want you guys to Right. Uh, he felt bad about yeah. beating beating that couple. Beating the shit out because, because maybe motions were too hard. So I'm going to make an accessible game. I don't think it's just that. I think it's the meta too. Because KOF has... It's a deep... It's a way deep... Yeah, dude, K- it right? is. Like, it's, so it's not just the motions, I think. I think it's also the fact that... Because the one of the big things about people when they say that Smash isn't a fight game, you look at the aerial mobility, you look mm. at the fact that this jump, and the fact that you're not trying to KO in the traditional sense of you losing stamina, mm. but you're also trying to think... So it makes you rethink... In the way, so it's it's a fighting game, but it's also an action game or platform or whatever. Platform fighting. Because fucking, you're taking these characters off of the screen, and so you have to think about it differently. Yep. And that's where the seriousness comes in, because that is a science. That shit ain't fucking easy for people on play at a high level. Yeah. That, like it, he made he made a monster. Right. Like in the, in the attempt to make something simple, he made, he made a monster. He made a beast. But and that's. That's the price of accessibility for the most part. You're, you're going to be able to pick it up and play, but at the same time, you're still going to have to dedicate your time, energy, and effort in order to get to those higher levels. Yep. That's not that's not going to change no. simply because you take out motions or the traditional fucking like 1v1. Grounded, format. yeah. Mostly grounded, neutral. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so all of that shit still exists in this thing, game. I mean, it's like the neutral is more because you got up yeah you have air you have, you have aerial neutral now like that and that's that's a thing to your credit like that i think that's something that's pretty exclusive to smash bros you have aerial neutral yeah the di and all that like I you mean, have to be aware of so much but i mean it's D, even even fucking di man soul caliber been doing that shit since 95 well, i ain't so saying fucking original i just said it's <laughs> fucking something you gotta watch out for <laughs> Right? That's fair. Uh, one showing our age again, but fuck. I don't care, man. Like, yeah. I, correctness is correctness. <laughs> God damn it. I thought but, it sounded great here on my head the other day. Idiot. No, but, I'm dead serious. But, like, I just, it, it's crazy. Like, you, you want it to be accepted and recognized as a traditional fighting game. And then when you get traditional fighting game mechanics. Mechanics. You yeah. you hate it like there's there's an account I follow uh, called Scrub Quotes on on Twitter. Oh shit! I'm it's that right now. it is funny as shit. Dude. It's so funny because like these are the complaints that we make jokes about is actually are they real? Because like somebody posted um, Geese's old move list with the comment as like RT scare RT to scare a Smash player and one of the. <laughs> And one and one of the Smash players, the first response is, "I can pick your game up and sauce you in it after 20 minutes." Replying to the KOF dude, the, the original poster of the KOF game. Yeah, yeah, yikes, big yikes, humongous yikes, astronomically engorged yikes. That's not the part that killed it though. The comment underneath it is what kills it. Is <laughs> this dude says? Platform fighters take way more skill than normal fighters. You have to learn different matchups <laughs> because the roster is so diverse. Micro spacing, knockback, and hit stuns, and what moves do what. Normal fighters only take learning the inputs, and there are very few differences between characters. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is going on with this generation? So apparently, Street Fighter. Street Fighter Five has forty iterations of Ryu, according to this this top level Smash player sarcasm. <laughs> it's I don't like they took no, out the commenter. The oh, yeah. Like they took out oh, the commenter's Jesus. name. Oh y'all y'all are y'all are very y'all better than me. Like I'd have put that yeah, I'd put your ass expose on oh, expose yeah. Somebody's them. Somebody's gonna have to expose this expose them. But like. Just that mindset. That mindset perfectly sums up like seventy percent of the Smash community. That's so like like, my, like micro stun? micro spacing. Like, hit stun is like a thing that's exclusive to, to Smash, Smash to Smash of all games. <laughs> hit stun. Hit stun has never been in any other game 
combos have never been in any other game besides Smash Bros. Yeah, that's, I mean, clearly him being top level means he knows what the fuck he's talking about. Jesus you have to learn matchup. You have to learn different matchups. Holy shit! Because the roster is so nigga, y'all have literal echo fighters. Y'all have characters that are the same as the base character, just with a different skin. Slightly, slightly different uh, variation on certain things, like angles. It he- not nah, no, no. Nope. Yeah. Echo fighters are exactly the same character. No, not. Yes, they are. Daisy like literally goes like does something different than Peach. She has a wider hitbox because she's taller. Slightly taller. I take that. Peach, so I don't care. That's facts. Yeah. But like, if if there are differences between Echo Fighters, it's one thing. Like, it's yeah, one it's, thing that doesn't change the character as enough. a whole. Right. It's not like it's not real again. Cause like Dark Samus, her back her roles aren't morph balls. She just has an actual role. Ken and Ryu, they the damage is higher for Ken. Yeah, like they have the differences that they and do also in the, the games. Uh, actual attack, that, so they they have to be different because I mean, right. it represents what we were talking about before with the actual characters. They're right. not exact. They're duplicates not the exact duplicates in of the each original other. game. And Sakurai <laughs> actually did that correctly and the, uh, represented it in uh, Smash Bros. He fucking did. So it's like your argument kind of kills itself and in then, a way. And then there were like. There were a couple of other tweets that were basically along the lines of, I picked up Smash so I didn't have to learn button inputs. What the, learn them now. what the fuck is this, Sakurai? Right no, I'm talking about when Terry got at it. No, that's what I'm saying. You don't, you don't have to, you don't have to learn them now, but yeah. like, if you do the button inputs, they're better. Like, yes. the moves themselves get different properties oh, and do absolutely. more damage like, and shit. As a matter of fact, it's almost know, like doing the motion is a reward for being able to do... It's a skill that when you learn, you get rewarded. The fucking motion. That's crazy. What, that's, a, what a concept. Like, I can, I didn't know that. I thought that would have to be like DLC in this part of Holy shit! Uh, you know, skill, skill is DLC. Skill DLC. Oh yeah, skill is DLC nowadays. Did you, you unlock the skill? Did shit. you unlock the skill <laughs> DLC? Did you go? Did they uh, put that in? You got some, some skill microtransactions. <laughs> but I mean, like that's like like I said, like we grew up with that shit. So yeah. We're not only biased, but I think from a game developing standpoint, design standpoint, the motions were there for a reason. When yeah. Capcom like. I remember years ago, before Infinite dropped, one of the rumors was that they were going to take away like the traditional Shoryuken motion for something different. Mm. And I was willing to give that a shot because they were going to make it like, I think, just double tap down yeah. and for uh, Shoryuken, mm. which I think, eh, I mean, uh, if, if the Shoryuken still acts in the same property, the difference here will be like, as far as like how quick you can execute, I suppose, because doing the Shoryuken motion compared to just doing double tapping down. It's gonna be a quicker response time. Yeah. But if that's the case, then I guess I would just speed up matches in certain areas. Yeah. And I was willing to submit it, but I don't think they ever did it with it, did they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they just stuck with the regular tree. And so, um, even when they were gonna try it, they didn't. But, you know, you guys need to, you know, I, I can't see the condition of their thumbs. Fuck trying to do these ass fucking thumbs cause my, my joke initially was like I can guarantee you there's somebody out there right now practicing doing a Hadouken motion yes. and they're not doing it in succession like they're literally hitting down returning to neutral down forward return to neutral and then forward as opposed to just rolling that shit all in one you know when it's hard to fucking imagine but I can see that too. Yeah. Because it's like when you, when you when me and you grew up once again those booklets. Yeah. Capcom would always have the arrow. Yep. Continuous. The arrow. Mm-hmm. And it's it like, didn't break the motion. Like KOF was actually the first manual that was like, hey, the, you need to push these in this order. Yeah. To get the move. Quarter circle back, half circle forward was like. It started in the neutral and then it was just basically a crescent. With yeah. an arrow that <laughs> that pointed upward. At yeah, the it was like a diagonal upward. You're like, what the fuck? What are you is doing? this, man? What what is this shit? Like, I don't know. SNK, they were always trying to be the avant garde fight game. I mean, the, it is like that. I I believe they succeeded. Yeah, I, I think they were. They, they did well. I mean, like KOF 13 to me is still. I couldn't play that fucker. Those combos are hard. That is a difficult. You want to talk about bitches. difficult? I'm putting these bitches down. Give them an Xbox 360 controller and tell them to learn the uh, Kyo 
combo trials. Them bitches are hard, man. Boy. Even even with all the execution I have, them bitches are hard. I am shit at execution, so I don't know what the fuck I did. I know but, what I did because I love that hard work. But like y'all are, I, 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 woo, really good. Woo. But like y'all are y'all are even more fortunate, man, because like in Smash Bros, Terry, Ryu, and Ken always face the opponent. You don't have to worry about not only learning the motion, but being able to perform it backwards if you switch sides with a character. Right. Because yeah. you can just be reverse it. Yeah. Like, that's just another that's just another level of difficulty that was kind of, I don't want to say taken away, but that was kind of basically eliminated so that you could have, you know, easy access to this character. I wish Shocker would take that fucking mechanic out. Like, you, I, I'm not a fan of it have- either. I Maybe get it. Have have their back hair. Right, like I, I get it. I understand, yeah. but like I'm, I'm not a fan of it. Uh, I mean, of all the changes and shit that he added in, I think that was the most head scratching for me when I first saw it in uh, the original reveal trailer. Mm. He was talking about how Ryu was gonna always face the opponent. Always like, face the opponent. Like that's cool. Uh, rest in peace, back hair. Yeah, I was like, you, you bet. You gave him a move that I'm rarely gonna see because even when you, even when you dash dance and turn that shit around, like make them dash the other way when they right. jump, they always jump facing the opponent. Exactly. So it's like that. Like I hope that whoever the guy is that's working on that uh, Smash uh, NX project to take away like certain mechanics and make it more like. Uh, Make, play, make it play more like uh, Project M. Mm. Take that shit out. Yeah, you get yeah. rid of that. We want to see back here. Make back here great again. But, yeah, like, it's just... <laughs> it, it's just funny. Because, yeah. like, these are... These are all the things that, you know... We just had to deal with. Like, if, your character, if a character you like has difficult motions, either learn the motions or pick a different character. There, yeah. was, there was there no, no real option. simple mode there back no then. There was no simple, like, option execution. You're right. Like, fucking, uh, oh, fucking fight me, X-Player. They do that. Yeah. They give you the simplified uh, now. <laughs> now. Yeah, I mean, yeah not, not back in the day. Once again, you know, it, you know what this reminds me of? This is like, when you see somebody that said they don't know how to change a tire on their car. Mm. You know, it's like, in order for me to have a car, I need to know how to change the tire. You got to know how to do something on that. You have to know how to do the oil, like check the no. oil, and the, because like my my very first hoopty that I had, it was spring oil like a motherfucker. Yeah. Same with the uh, uh, like coolant leak. Mm-hmm. So I had to know how to fucking find. I didn't know what my oil was, where it was, keep an extra tank in the car. And I know I know how to change the shit. It's just a matter of convenience, man. Because I don't have a the tools to lift my car right. up enough to change the oil out. B the time. <laughs> yeah, I just don't want to do it. But I know how to do it. All right, I, I, you I go, know how. Yeah, I go if, my, my buddy is the one that does it, so I'm I'm there with him every time. And he does it, and it shows me. He shows like, me what rich side you need and everything. Because I'm like, if it came, if it came down to it, you could do it exactly. Like, and that's 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 a lot of the things. Like, I mean, it's technically not necessary for you to know how to do that, but hypothetically, like, if you were on a long ass stretch of road no idea where the nearest service station is, yes. you would be able to fix your own shit. You'd be able to get out, put a donut on, ride up the street a little longer, or get into, like, a place area where you can make a call for help. You know, that kind of shit. It's like, I mean, you don't need to know how to do double 360s. But right. Once, once, once you, you do, know, like, it opens up a wider array of shit for you. Yeah. That's why most people or the couple of people that that play traditional fighting games that also play Smash yeah. do really well in Smash. Yeah. Just because it's a, it's a it's tiered learning. Like your game, like hate it or love it, disagree, agree. Your game was made to be easy. To be so like that's the entire premise of this franchise. It's like it's not like traditional fighting games it's, because those may be too hard right. for the for the casual audience. Yes, like it, it's like they I, it's it's really weird because like I watch YouTube King like he breaks down things with frame data yeah like I mean he's the one originally that did the frame data for Melee way back in the day yeah he, uh, he uploaded it online so he knows like the stuff mm. and he has a bunch of subscribers watching these videos how can you say something so foolish as to act like frame data is like a smash only thing like, it was, I have to know when the hitbox is so that I know when Kirby can actually punish the shield out of the shield. It's it's first it's first and worst syndrome. It was the first one I played. It was the first one that I saw 
therefore this is where it originated. Oh, it's yeah. it there there's a there's a fallacy for it. I don't remember what it is cuz I'm still trying to memorize that list of like 148 logical fallacies. I do, nigga. Like bro, like I'm I'm telling you do like on these drives during work, like I'll just open up that page and have Google read it. That's fair. Yeah. I'm doing that page. Okay. Like yeah. Yes. I work at um Little, little Little Caesars Jersey Mike's Carabas Olive Garden. They have pretty Where else? Where's best Best City Circuit by Wall Target. Hungry Howie's had like this season for us. <laughs> <laughs> Call oh, back, folks. <laughs> Dumb ass. <laughs> Dumb ass, man. <coughs> oh, why are you? Why are you like this? Fuck it! I slept with both windows. I don't know if I said it on the podcast. I slept with both windows open last night. It dropped to like thirty something degrees. At its coldest, nigga. Got and I woke up like had to take a leak, and my ankle was fucking broken, and fucking, <laughs> and my whole fucking room was like shivering. I'm a fat motherfucker shivering and shit, walking around his drawers at four o'clock in the morning trying to take a leak. Idiot. There is some shit going on. Yeah, don't don't do it next week though, because it's supposedly supposed to get down to like nineteen. Yeah, no, my windows are closed okay. as we speak. That's my windows good. are closed. My heater is on. This one should be warm, my nigga. Oh hell yeah! I'm gonna go home and take a nap because it's like what nine, eleven? <laughs> oh well. You didn't see. Ah, you didn't, see <laughs> didn't see that one coming, did you? Or the, did they. or the second one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude. We're gonna... <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> Goddamn, Reed's up. He's so stupid, man. Oh, shit. You're I'm so... I'm hungry how he's not going to love his Oh, my God. Oh, oh my stomach. Oh, You're shit. You are dumb. That was okay. Uh, right. Should we move on? Yeah, like right. TLDR. What are your emotions? We're, we're old. We're old. Learn your emotions. It's not hard. It will, it's, it's it'll like it'll benefit you in the long run. It's like learning how to fucking aim in actual FPS. Right. You actually know how to work in FPS and radical and everything. Shit just goes a lot better for you. And it's like you open up an entire genre of fucking games to play. Yeah. I'm still working on that shit so I can actually get in on all this modern warfare that I'm here. It's on. so this fun. Fucking, this good shit. Good. They updated some of the weapons. I read that in like mm-hmm. a headline article. Like, yeah. what, what they update? The uh, 725 shotgun, the M4 assault rifle. Uh, 725 shotgun was basically a sniper rifle because the cone was so tight and the range was so long. Uh, That's also what she said. But the M4 was, that shit, it just did everything. Like it was good. It was good at range, fast up close. Damage was high at all ranges. You could put any attachment on it, and it would only improve that gun. Even with the cons for the attachment, it would only make the gun better. So they actually had to nerf that one. Yeah, like uh, they they added more recoil. The damage range is it dropped off now. Now it's like five to six shots to kill at long ranges. I got you. It's supposed to be like a mid to close range gun. That's that. It, they, they kept up the Xbox 360 specs. Yeah. Back in the day. I'm, I'm glad that shit got changed. But <laughs> Pocket Man comes out this <laughs> month. <laughs> I'm excited. You yeah, God, fucking, learn your games. Fucking, you didn't hire me because I had the game knowledge. You hired me because I'm a pretty face. And then all the cameras stopped working. And you said, this is now a podcast. Yeah, sorry we can't do our porn, bro. Rip. <sighs> I, I know, I know you were looking forward to that, but uh, I was just gonna be the fucking the coffee guy. <laughs> I, I understand, man's got to know his limitations. These are these are facts. Visitors, friends, my dogs are here now. Ooh, for some, for some, for some reason. Hey, buddy. But yeah, Pokemon comes out November 
14th, I want to say 14th. Don't quote me on that. Might be 15th. Don't, 15th, yeah, don't know. Right Boy, fuck, dude. Like, de- sorry, just another quick tangent. Death Stranding came out yesterday, and I totally fucking forgot. I didn't even care. I don't even know what the fuck this. I've seen Fair enough. videos. That's why I've I want to play it. Interviews. I want to play it so I can know what the fuck is going on. I, it's like the guy from fucking uh, Walking Dead is shaking a baby in a can. That's what I'm seeing here. Game of the year. Oh, already. I can guarantee you that. Game of the year. Oh, because you was going to get a Lifetime Achievement Award, a fucking Medal of Freedom. <laughs> a fucking Nobel Peace Prize. Fucking, he'll go up there. He'll, he'll go up to the White House before some of these sports teams will. Facts. <laughs> it's like he's going to go up there and finally have his final battle with Trump. Oh, yeah. He's going to be the one to do it. He's going to be the fucking one. Oh, my bad. Fuck. Yeah, my fault. <laughs> I, had a, I had to stretch. <laughs> But well, in close proximity. Okay. Fucking um, Pokemon comes out. There's a lot of a lot of changes, a lot of good changes, like quality of life shit. Basically, like you can change the natures of Pokemon with an item, which is really good because like they want you to get, they want you to focus on team building as opposed to creating the perfect Pokemon. Now, right. So you can change natures, which is good. The, uh, the vitamins now instantly max out the EVs for whatever stat you put them on, so you don't have to spend hundreds of thousand dollars on vitamins. Woo. I'm hype. I'm yeah. hype as shit for that. There's a name changer and move deleter at every gym. Yes. Which now I don't have, I basically don't have to make a um, quote unquote home base. Right. So, right. so now I can just go to literally any one of them and be alright. Um... The Dynamax seems cool. That's it's, that's it, like it looks goofy, but it seems competitively it seems cool. I, I, yeah, <laughs> sure. I mean, like it's just it seemed like something. As soon as I saw like that first video, I was like, all right, yeah, all right, cool. <laughs> okay. I didn't, I didn't ask for this, and I don't necessarily got one. Right. Though, so it's like, I, but, I guess that's another feature. Yeah, like it's it's a thing yeah. that exists, but. The major one that caused uproar is that there is no national decks this time. Can you explain what a national decks is? For of American course, American? friend. Yeah. The national decks is essentially the ongoing Pokedex. It's basically basically a glossary for Pokemon. So it has that forty dollar book you saw at GameStop. Right. It indexes every Pokemon from the Kanto region all the way to the Gala region, or at least it would if it was in the game. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's that's what the national deck. Like anytime you see a list of every Pokemon, that's a national dex. Regional dexes are things like the Kanto Pokemon, which were the original 151, then the Johto decks. It basically goes by whatever game you're in. The Pokemon that are introduced in that game is your regional decks. Yeah. So the big thing with most other Pokemon games, not counting Go and remakes, is that all of the Pokemon up to that point have been in these games. Yes. And in this one, they were no. focused more on other things. So they were like, you know what? We don't. Why do we have the entire national decks? Me personally, right? I don't give a shit. I really don't I like. Mean, there are Pokemon that I like that didn't get cut, but I mean, I'm I'm just gonna catch like the same thirty that I care about, and then build a team, and man, that's gonna be it. You see, one of the things with me is like I, I looked at the leak damage of the ones that should have made. Mm. And, like, I saw the original right at the top left corner was the original three here. Bulbasaur, Charizard, and Squirtle. Charizard being the only one that made it because Game Freak has a Charizard boner for some reason. Charizard, Charizard sucks. I kind of just looked at the rest of the list and I'm like, I don't remember any of these. Like, I don't remember. That's the thing. Any of these guys. Like, I have the last Pokemon game I played. Outside of Go, like a real Pokemon game, was Pokemon Think X for the 3DS. Mm-hmm. And Definitely. I loved that shit. When they made the first jump to 3D. Yeah, and it was fun. God, was, like, like, 3DS is still one of my favorite systems. Um, as soon as they start moving some of these games onto the fucking Switch, I'll be very happy. Where I had, like, a fucking 3DS goddamn uh, mount or something. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like, seeing a 32X or something. But, fucking... I don't know, remember any of these fuckers anyway, so right. I, it's like, 
I, I don't I don't care. I got like, my why do you people care? Like have other Pokemon games. Have those games. I know you do. Like I, don't play them. I don't know. I I wanna post this image. Um but I know, like, the Twitter account that I got it from received a uh, cease and desist from Nintendo not too long after they posted this. So I might just leave a link to my, uh, to that image in G Drive. If I do, and you click on it, and it allows you access to my other pictures, you see what you see. I'm not ashamed. <laughs> yeah, I learned eventually, kids. I might put it in the thumbnail. Like you know, maybe skew it a little bit, the blur it, makes it better, blur it or something. It won't be bad. Be stupid as fuck. I mean, fucking. <laughs> but like when we were growing up, it was two girls, one jar, of shitting dead nipples. Like once again, once but, again, you kids had it so good. All but, these good ass, drawn ass motherfuckers. But like the thing that's like, believe it or not, that was the thing that had a lot, and I mean a lot of Twitter users, a couple of Poke tubers. Like up in arms, up in arms that they weren't gonna get any national decks. I'm like, bro, oh, no. y'all, y'all, y'all are gonna do the same thing that you do every gen. You're gonna catch, you're gonna catch your six to ten Pokemon for your team. Try to run that dry ass Landorus Thunderous meta for three fucking years until we get another Pokemon and then be done with the fucking game. Like I, if I don't. This is a long term plan for DLC. I, I doubt it. Yeah. I honestly doubt it. Because, I mean, like, if that was the case, they would have hopped on that train with fucking Black 2 and White 2. True, true. Because, I mean, like, there's also there's also Pokebank, which they gave you the option to save things from across games. Oh, yeah. So, right. I mean, like, there'd really be no point in DLC. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But a lot, a, lot of, a lot of the Poketubers on Twitter, I don't want to name their names because... You don't do that here. We're a class. All right, we we know who they are. We are classy. One of them, one of them rhymes with tofu. That's all I'll say. But they were like, "Yeah, I'm not buying the game if there's no national decks." And then they introduced all these quality of life changes. Now you're hype as fuck. Yeah. Now you're hype. It's almost like that shit never really mattered, and you were doing it because that's what the voice of the internet said. Yeah, yeah. People aren't really individuals like that. Like especially these guys who work on who make YouTube their job. Right. Like, I think a lot of them, they just look at certain things, and they're just like, and they keep up with, like, trends. Mm. And so when they see that people are having upper or, or, like, Pokemon is, like, at the top of trending on Twitter, they go and look at it, and it's like, people are outraged about this. Now I am outraged. Yep. Because I don't have an independent thought in my brain, and I'm on YouTube. <laughs> this is a job. Because, oh, it's, it's one of those things that didn't really matter. I could see if they said something like, hey, there's not going to be any gym battles. In Pokemon. Oh, that would be now, that's that's something, something to raise hell. Right, like that. You could be actually mad about that. I would be pissed at that. Or no, no online. Or like, no, right, no way, online like, features or like online's coming later or some shit yeah, like that. That, shit would, be that would you know that. Well, my money you, would be coming later. Right, so like you'd you'd be justified in it, but like right. saying that because there aren't that all eight hundred plus Pokemon aren't in it is the reason for you to not buy it like you give a fuck about all 800 plus Pokemon I fucking love Pokemon I do I like the majority of the Pokemon mm. I don't I don't fucking care dude I'm gonna I catch breaking my neck to catch us that right like I'm gonna catch the ones I like yeah. make my team and battle from that point on after I finish the game like I'm not gonna pretend that you know an arbitrary amount of something not being in the game ruins the game for me. Like a bunch of get characters or uh, old Pokemon from the older games. Like that, if that's all it takes to get you off, it's like you, dude, you, you were never on. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so it's like you know, I, I always look at these cats who complain about these things, that are never from the game developer side. It's like this is. This is a brand new take on Pokemon. Right. An open world with like Pokemon actually roaming around, yeah. and just hiding in the fucking bushes, and, so and, that a computer can randomly right. generate a Pokemon. And everything has brand new models. Yeah. Everything that they've chosen to include. Do I agree with the list of Pokemon they've chosen to include? Absolutely not. Because like, for the most part, it's a it's a pretty trash list of like older Pokemon that are included. Like. Gen 2 get fucked. Like, that's that's all I'm gonna say. Like, it get absolutely fucked. Gen 2. Because we don't... 
there are no Pokemon. From what I saw, there's no Pokemon from Gen 2. Jesus fucking Christ. Whole generation's dead. Yeah, like, I'm gonna... Oh, man, damn. Lantern is from Gen 2. So there's a couple. There's, like, just looking at this picture... Fuck, there are four. Okay. There are four Pokemon from Gen 2. Four of them bitches. Well, congratulations, Gen <laughs> 2 fans. You're being well yeah. represented. And they aren't, they aren't the cool ones. <laughs> they uh, aren't they the cool ones. They never would be the cool ones. I mean, for fuck's sake, look at the new designs for these Bro, new no, Pokemon. None of the starters are there. Yeah. None of the starters are there. Hair Cross isn't there. Pseudo Widow's not there. Yeah. Wobbuffet made it. <laughs> Wildfet made it? Wildfet made it. Alright, well, fuck. I, I think that we'll be... We'll make it work. And that's the... Yeah, that's the last one from Gen 2. Everything else is from Gen 3 onward. Congratulations, Gen 2. All your hard work and sacrifice. They have... Game... Game... Like, the one... The one that I didn't get from Gen 1... It was... Like, normally, that's the one that y'all show the most love to is fucking Gen 1. But, like, y'all only included fucking Charizard. Charizard sucks! Charizard sucks competitively. Charizard is like the epitome of like childlike wonder in a Pokemon. It's a fire Great dragon. dragon. <laughs> cool. Like the man is fire flying. You put up fucking stealth rocks. You kill him before he even gets the chance to attack. That shit does 50% of his life. Wow, stealth rocks, fake out, and then something else. Imagination. No squirtle, no Bulbasaur. Mm. The, the two that are actually competitively viable. No, fuck them. Fuck them things. Well, I guess we see what Nintendo's goal is. They're not looking to make this into a competitive Unless these new ones that they had in. I, I'm, I'm thinking so. Because, like, there are a couple of them that have, like, some really good, like, some unique typings. This is weird. But, like, uh, Corviknight, the, uh, the bird that's in armor, I'm getting one of them bitches. That nigga Cool as fuck. He's, not, he's an exclusive one, isn't he? I think he's exclusive to Sword. Don't matter, that's the one I'm getting anyway. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> like, that's I'm, what I'm, I'm getting going. Sword. But he's like, he's fucking. Is he still? I don't remember if he's still dark or fucking flying dark. After I just hyped this nigga up and I can't even remember the type. But it's alright. He, he, he has, search. right, he has like a very unique typing and. The design's good. He's fucking dope. I just really... I hope his stats are in line. Because, like, with with whatever his typing is, once I remember it, like, he's gonna be tanky as shit. Mm. Okay. <sighs> Stop complaining. Stop complaining about the national deck. Stop being there. You never cared before when it was. You never said, man, I, I've never heard the comment when a new Pokemon game come out. Man, I wonder if they're... I hope they have all Pokemon. I hope they have all the Pokemon in it. Maybe after the first, the very first one. <laughs> right. Like, maybe going into gold and silver, was that even a relevant comment? It was just like, man, I hope everybody comes back. Yeah. Like, you know, nobody, nobody fucking cares. Nobody cares until they don't have it. That's usually how it works with a lot of things. <laughs> like, nobody gives a single fuck until it's not there and not readily accessible. Right, right. I'll just... Uh, shut up, man. Like, y'all y'all were gonna play this game. Like, I called it back months ago when y'all were still ranting and raving and shit. I was like, y'all gonna buy this shit. Y'all gonna still buy it. Y'all gonna buy this fucking y'all game. Y'all are let's play like, like, And you influence people. And they get fucking... And they see, you know, dashy XP fucking playing games. And that's what buys games. Yeah. That's what sells games now. I was like, y'all gonna, y'all gonna piss and moan so that, you know, your fans feel like you have some solidarity with them. But, like, in the end, you're still gonna buy this shit. Like, the t- it happened like clockwork, bro. The initial outrage, then the tone change, and now you're excited. Called it. Called it from day one. I was like, a month from release, y'all gonna be gassing this game up. Oh, oh yeah. You are. So, well, and I actually can't wait for it. That's gonna be, yeah, I, I, I mean, like the franchise. It's like, it's an RPG that is just fun. It has a collection element of trying to collect things and exploring new areas and trying to catch bullshit. Mm. It's like, you know, it's, it's a fun game. So, you know, all the people, you know, a lot of people won't be able to play it because they're going to break their four thumbs trying to copy Terry. Huh? <laughs> but, uh... If you make it. If y'all make it, we'll see you out there. 
Yeah, I'm probably gonna stream the story. Like, out of I normally don't stream the story in Pokemon. I just do the battles, but niggas want to see the story. I'll do the fucking story, man. Like, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, I mean, it's worth it, I guess. Yeah, um, definitely gonna yeah. definitely gonna do the battles though. That's my shit. Oh yeah, that is my shit. I love competitive Pokemon, man. Yeah, so you play fun. that uh, online, one, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. The new Pokemon yeah. Showdown. Been playing it for. Four fucking years at this point, Jeez. maybe longer. Mm-hmm. Like I'm, I'm just using four years of point of reference from when I was still at CSU. Holy shit! <laughs> like, <laughs> like I know I've been playing it for at least that long. Wow, it's, it's, it's fucking good. But that's uh, that is that's it. That's this week. We did we did gaming for so once. Nothing nothing like super. Our gaming podcast has gaming in it. <laughs> We out. Uh, we we out. We yeah. come back. Come back next week. Stay warm, everybody. Yeah, stay warm. Don't leave your fucking AC and and windows, and windows open. open and fan on and refrigerator open. For fuck's sake, I had like I like, forgot that windows. It's just been open. Like that's just one of those things that you just forget. So I'm so sorry that that happened to you. Not really because it was your fault, but I I sympathize. Thanks, man. Sure. No. Nah. I mean, yeah, dude, the Red Cross fucking bullshit, dude. Like, it's not even a real donation. It's not even a real charity. Oh, no. This is too hot for TV. Cut the street! Yeah, yeah. I gotta cut it off! Gotta kill it.